Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2019. Uh, it was actually snowing here literally less than five minutes ago. We had a light little flurry coming in, so it was crazy. So it's uh, a little chilly today here at the homestead, but uh, not bad, not bad. It's uh, Things are getting there, slow and steady. I mean, we got like this little bit of snow here, there's some over there, but uh, a lot better than it was. The driveway had literally a couple inches of uh, snow and ice on it, so to have that cleaned up is a nice thing. All right, so let's talk about the topic of today's video. Are you paying your fair share of taxes? Who pays their fair share of taxes? Who doesn't? Uh, so let's let's realistically say who pays and who doesn't. Okay. So we have, uh, I know some states don't have it, but in New York State we have a state tax and we have the federal tax. So it's like we're double, double dipped, if you will. So uh, middle class will always pay the most in taxes. Uh, the rich hardly pay anything in taxes. Uh, and I know there was a, a talk at one point of a flat tax, which I think would be great because then the rich would actually pay their fair share. Uh, you know, and, and if you think about it, guys, we're taxed, we're taxed, and then we're taxed a little bit more. Somebody was saying, um, you know, certain countries that the tax is so much higher and how, how the United States is not as bad and everything like that. But let's, you know, obviously we don't have universal health care in the United States. So, you know, their money's not going for that. And uh, so, you know, but you think about, okay, so we're taxed on our regular money that we, we work when we, when we make our money. We're taxed on that. Then, when you go and you buy anything, you're taxed on that. Uh, the fees that we have every year for different things, it, uh, that those fees just continue to go up and up and up as well. And uh, every time you turn around, it's just like it's you're always paying again and again and again on money that's already been taxed. So, and I always I'm always curious where does all that money go? Uh, you know, it's just it's it's amazing to me. Uh, you know, I had recently uh, so, anyway, so let, let's let's get into the taxes here real quick a, a little bit. Uh, let's talk about the rich. The rich never pay their fair share of taxes. And uh, the tax breaks that uh, President Trump had just put in, who did that benefit, realistically? It benefited the rich. And people like, you know, well, no, no, he's for the common man and stuff like that. What people forget, and, and it's like, and I'm not anti-Trump, I'm not pro-Trump. I just, you know, he's the president, and I respect that, and, and that's fine. But we got to remember, he's in that upper echelon and was in that upper echelon before he became president. Okay, so he was a billionaire before he became president. So he has a lot of rich friends, obviously. Okay, the rich will always take care of the rich. That's just what they do. Okay, they want to keep more of the money they already have, whatever new money they're making, they want to keep that as well. So the ultimate rich, super rich people, you know, they're not paying their fair share of taxes. Never have, never will. Uh, so I can't remember who said it. Somebody, I think it might have been Warren Buffett. I think it was Warren Buffett. And please correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I don't like to speak out of turn or say a false statement. But I think Warren Buffett said that his secretary paid more in taxes than he did. Now, th that's very, very telling. Somebody, you know, in that position is saying something like that. So that's where I'm a real big proponent of a flat tax. If you have a flat tax, it's fair to everybody. Because realistically, let's see who pays and who doesn't. The poor people pay no taxes. Actually, uh, they get so much money back, especially if they have children, it's ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous how much they get back. And uh, they're not paying into that system. The super rich aren't paying anything, or not their fair share, I should say. Uh, you know, for sure, they're definitely not paying their fair share. And, uh, you know, because here's my thing is, okay... Realistic, and then of course, well, let me just get to this real quick. Then the middle class are the ones that are paying the load on everything for carrying the country and everything like that. So let's look at realistically. Realistically, how much money do you need to live? Um, you know, maybe not super comfortably, but comfortably enough, okay? What is enough, okay? So if I make $10 million in a year, 
beyond a certain point, okay, and this is this is kind of my thought, and you tell me what you guys think of this. Beyond a certain point, once you make a certain point, at what point does it you should be like, okay, so let's say your first ten million dollars that you make in a year is based on a certain level of taxes, let's say ten percent. So that first ten million dollars that you make, you pay a million dollars in taxes. After that, then you're looking at 50% uh, taxes, in my opinion. Because realistically, how much do you really truly need to live? I mean, do you need to go out and buy a twenty, thirty thousand dollar $30,000 purse or $5,000 shoes? Realistically, do you really need that? Okay. And, and getting back on taxes, let's talk about corporations that don't pay any taxes. Uh, you know, when, when they're like, okay, so here there was the whole big thing in New York. Uh, they were trying to get, um, I think it was Amazon. I can't remember. I think it was Amazon that they were trying to get the offices in New York City. They were trying to get Amazon to come down there because they're going to bring in so many jobs and stuff like that, which they would have brought in a lot of jobs. But what you don't hear about is the tax breaks that these companies get for coming to City XYZ, where they don't have to pay any taxes on their buildings in this and that for so many years. When you're talking about billion dollar companies, why are they getting those tax breaks? It, it shouldn't happen like that. It, you know, and it's like, well, it trickles down and, and they're paying their employees. I'm gonna tell you what, these companies, they're screwing their employees left, right, and center. Trust me on that, all of them do it. All of them do it. They could care less about the little guy at all. I mean, you could go to work for a company Work your butt off, and at the end of 30 years, you're going to get, what, a gold watch and an attaboy? You know, come on. They And they, they care about you? No, they don't. Uh, you know, I learned that a long, long time ago, that uh, these companies do not care. And they're never going to care. I mean, that's the reality of it. They're just not going to care. It's just the way it is. Uh, so as soon as you can wrap your head around that, that's great. But these big companies that are making billions and billions of dollars, you know, you're talking Amazon, Google, um, you know, the pharmaceutical companies, oil companies, they need to be paying more in taxes. I mean, that would be fair. Why does it always rest on the middle class is my question. And the middle class is shrinking, guys. I mean, they're, you know, back in the day, uh, you know, when we're talking about the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, uh, you know, even the 70s, the middle class was, you know, was good. It was good to be middle class. That's what you strive for. If you could get to middle class, that was great. But uh, that gap now is just gone. And, uh, you know, there's the, the poor and the ultimately rich. And, uh, and like I said, again, at what point is enough money? to survive on I mean I think we all want to be able to be comfortable and uh, you know but ultimately what people don't realize is the insanely wealthy people are paying very very little percentage wise on the amount of money that they're bringing in and that realistically I mean and I'm not trying to be like some kind of communist because I am definitely not a communist okay but that's just not fair uh, it, it should be a fair tax and it should be across the board, but when you ultimately have a bunch of millionaires in Congress and the Senate, do you honestly think that they are going to look out for the middle class and the poor? Or are they going to look out for their rich friends? Hmm, I wonder, geez, that's a, that's a very tough, tough question. It's a very easy answer. You know, they're going to look out for each other. They're going to make laws that help each other out, that uh, that don't help you out. And they're, I mean, I've seen so many uh, new proposed taxes. Like in Michigan, they want to raise the gas tax like another 45 cents. You know, supposedly, I think it was to fix the roads. And the roads are always going to be crap. Well, well you know, again, and I talked a little bit about the, the roads. They have stuff that's going to last a lot longer for these, make these roads last a lot longer. And they don't use it. And that is, makes zero sense to me. So you constantly have these construction crews out there redoing the same things over and over and over again. It, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like, what, you know, like we have uh, my side roads out here where I live. Um, like, I live on a dirt road, so we have to take care of our own road. It's a private road, so there's nothing, you know, the town will do for our road, which is fine. We take care of it ourselves. But um, the main roads... We, 
tons of potholes and they come in and they throw a little bit of tar or whatever you know uh, asphalt I'm sorry they throw a little t asphalt into the holes and pack it down a little bit and it just c comes right back and is worse again so I mean you know it, it is amazing to me and I'm gonna tell you what now I've we've been here at the homestead for four years and every year that I've been here my taxes have increased <laughs> so you know it's just uh, they, they do that all the time, right across the board. They, they nickel and dime you a little bit at a time and, and continue to squeeze you and squeeze you some more and they're going to squeeze you some more. So again, uh, who, who is not paying their fair share realistically? And the, and the reality is it's the super rich. The super rich have never paid their fair share. They never will pay their fair share. Uh, like I said, and you know, and Trump just did that tax cut, and they talk about, oh, it's the trickle down effect that you know the, they're making more money, so they're able to, uh, you know, put it back in. The, that, that's BS, you know. L let's talk about CEOs for a second. Let's just let's open up that can of worms. I can remember when people were flipping out that CEOs were making so much money, and then it all kind of just went away. You didn't hear about it anymore. Well, CEOs are making obscene amounts of money. When you have a company in the CEO, like in your Joe employee, and let's say you're making 15 bucks an hour and you're having to pay more for your benefits and all this type of stuff, so you're working like ridiculous hours. And then this fat cat CEO sitting up there and uh, he's getting, oh, $30 million a year, and then he's getting stock options and, uh, you know, all kinds of other perks that go along with him being the CEO. And what is he really doing, realistically? I mean, what do they do, you know? Uh, they're not worth that kind of money that they're getting. They're just not. When you have, you know, these people that, uh, you know, are head of these different organizations, and they're making ridiculous money. I mean, when you, when you get, so think about this, okay? When you're donating your money to help different things, uh, the United Way, the um, uh, March of Dimes, and all those type of stuff. And it's great that they call it the March of Dimes because about a dime of every dollar that you're in, you're giving to them is actually going to the cost. Uh, I don't know if you knew that or not. I mean, look up that information. You'll see I'm not, you know, blowing smoke up your butt. Um, these organizations, the CEOs of those organizations, now they don't make millions, but they're making way ridiculous too much of money. If they're really wanting to help a charitable organization, why are they taking so much? I mean, you know, $200,000 for the CEO of these, you know, different things. Again, this is all information that's out there, guys. Look it up. Um, it is ridiculous. So, you know, it's uh, it's a very, very sad thing, honestly. And uh, But it is what it is, and it's not going to change. And, uh, and, and we just continue to take it and take it and take it some more, which I really don't understand that. I really don't. Uh, it has to come to a breaking point. But uh, so I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this topic. Uh, I like I said, I personally I would just do a straight flat tax uh, up to a certain level, and uh, like I said, once you made ten million dollars, then it should be fifty cents on a dollar after that, because uh, you're still going to make a ton of money if you're super rich. I mean, so you know you, your first ten million, you have to pay a million in taxes. And then after that, it's 50 cents on a dollar. So your second 10 million, you still get to keep 5 million, but 5 million should go to, to you know, to help the economy or however, you know, take care. Here's, here's a, a, a crazy thought. Take care of our elderly the way that they should be taken care of. Take care of uh, our veterans. God, that would be something now, wouldn't it? But... You know, that's a pipe dream, of course, because they'll never do that. But anyway, guys, um, like I said, I definitely want to hear your feedback on this topic, and I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, like I said, I'm going to kick this around here so you can see the sky. we got some clouds, some clearing. Uh, not a bad day overall. Chilly, but not a horrible, horrible day. And I think they said the high was going to be 38 today, but like I said, a little while ago it was snowing. And you can see it's pretty dark over here. So, guys, I want you to remember, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. And, uh, you know, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're going to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish... 
you can do it. You work at it methodically, and the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. And that's the reality of anything. You know, set realistic goals and work towards them, and you'll get there, okay? Uh, I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. I hope everybody's having a good start to their work week, and I will see you guys later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.